Duplicating an object in an image is easy to do using Photopea's clone tool. Let's take a look at how the clone tool is used and how you can duplicate any object in your photos. I've got this image here with two hot air balloons and we're going to create duplicates of each of them using the clone tool. The way the clone tool works is by copying content from one area of the image and painting it into another area. We do this by selecting a sample point on a layer. That will be our source of cloning. Then we use it like the brush tool to paint the content from the sample point to another area of the image. Let's take a look at the clone tool in action. The first method I'm going to show you works on simpler elements on a solid background, like this balloon that's off in the distance. First, we want to create a copy of the background layer because we're going to edit the picture directly and we want to be able to easily revert back if we make any mistakes. Select the clone tool here or press the S key to activate it. Hold down Alt and scroll up to zoom in on the smaller balloon. Right click and set the size of the brush to just cover up the whole balloon. Next, we need to set our sample point, where we're going to clone from. To set the sample point, hold down Alt or K and click where you want to clone from, in this case right on the center of the balloon. Notice there's now a preview of the balloon inside the brush. This shows what will be painted onto the layer when you click. I'll click here and the balloon is painted onto the layer. It looks good here on the sky where the background matches, but look what happens when I place the balloon on the wider area in the clouds. Now you can see a bit of the sky surrounding the balloon. We can use a mask to fix this, but we have a problem. Each of these balloons were painted directly under the layer the image is on, so a mask won't work. When we zoom out, they don't look bad because they're so small, but this larger balloon won't look as good unless we use a mask to clean it up. The better solution is to clone the object into a new layer so we can leave the original layer intact and mask out what we need to on the balloon. Zoom in on the main balloon and create a new layer. In the top menu, we can select from three options for source, which affects how our sample point works. The default is current layer, which takes a sample from the layer that is currently selected when you hold Alt and click on your sample point. That's what we did earlier when we had layer 1 selected. Current and below will set a sample point from the currently selected layer or any layer below it, while all layers will set a sample point from any layer in the project. I'll set it to all layers so I can sample from the whole image. I'll set the brush size to just larger than the balloon. You could also set it to a smaller brush size and use longer strokes to paint the balloon in, which is more precise, but I prefer cloning the whole object in one click when I'm able to. Hold down Alt and click on the center of the balloon. Now I can paint the clone over here on its own layer. I'll press V to activate the Move tool and drag it up a little higher. And you can see how we've cloned too far around the balloon and we need to mask these edges out. So let's create a mask on our new layer. And press B to switch to the brush tool. With my color set to black and with a soft edged brush, I'll start to mask out the edges of the balloon. Just go around and mask all the edges and get as close as you can. Try to be as precise as possible, but don't worry if you go too far. Just switch the color to white and turn the hardness up. Then paint inside the balloon to unmask some of the areas where you might have gone too far. Next, let's convert this into a smart object. I'll switch back to the move tool and if I drag the new balloon around, anywhere I place it, it looks the same distance away as the original. If you want to make the balloon seem further away, you need to resize it, so I'll activate the transform controls. When you scale a selection down, it's scaled towards the anchor point, this point in the center of the selection. If I drag this point to the horizon underneath the original balloon, we can scale the new balloon in perspective with the original. Now it will scale towards that point, rather than towards the center of the selection. And the balloon looks further away, but still in a realistic perspective. Since the new balloon is further away, we shouldn't be able to pick up the details as clearly as we are. So let's add a Gaussian blur. And I'll set it to 1.2. If we wanted to add another balloon, 
All we need to do is hold Alt and click the cloned balloon, and it will duplicate into a new layer. I'll place this one over here. And we'll set the anchor point to the same spot we did earlier, directly under the first balloon. And scale it down even further. We need to give this balloon even more blur since it's further away. I'll set it to 1.9. There you go. You can see how easy it is to use the clone tool along with some simple masking and blurring to duplicate objects in your images. If we compare with the original, I think the results are pretty good. If you'd like to download the project files, they'll be available on my Patreon page, which you can find a link to in the description. If you found this useful, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. It would really help the channel grow and reach more people. Thanks for watching. See you next time.